Delilah The birth of Samson is one of unusual circumstances. His father is Manoah from the tribe of Dan, and Manoah's wife is a barren woman. Samson's birth is announced by an angel to Manoah's wife whilst she is alone. During this encounter, the angel gives Manoah's wife strict instructions regarding her soon-to-be child, because her child, Samson, is going to be a Nazarite. In Numbers chapter 6, verses 2 through 5, God gave instructions for those who would take a Nazarite vow to separate themselves to the Lord for a specific time. They needed to avoid drinking wine or alcohol. Their hair was not to be cut, and no razor was to come upon their heads. In Samson's case, he was chosen by God to be a Nazarite until the day of his death, and even his mother was to abide by the terms of the Nazarite vow during her pregnancy. As he grew, God blessed him. Samson was an unusual man with untold potential. God had a plan for Samson. He was to lead the army of Israel against their enemies. And as a result, God gave Samson strength. He is known as the strongest man in the Bible. Samson had unusual strength. He was so strong, he killed a lion with his bare hands. Samson is so strong that he defeated an army of 1,000 men. 1,000 men! Although Samson is the strongest man in the Bible, he had a weakness, and his weakness was for a woman called Delilah. This strong, strong man had a weakness, and his weakness was women, and in particular, a woman called Delilah. Samson had a fatal attraction. Do you know what a fatal attraction is? The definition of a fatal attraction is an attraction between an individual and someone or something that is so strong the individual lacks reason and logic in their thinking when dealing with their attraction. Now let us focus on Delilah. Delilah was a woman who loved money. She was a woman who was self-seeking and self-absorbed. And the lords of the Philistines approached her and instructed her to entice Samson and find out where his great strength lied, and by what means they may overpower him. They went on to state that if she succeeded, every one of them will give her 1,100 pieces of silver. And she agrees to this arrangement. She proceeded to develop somewhat of a relationship with Samson, and on three separate occasions, she asks him what the source of his strength is. And on each of those three occasions, Samson lies to her about the source of his strength. And on each of those three occasions, Samson finds himself in the situation he lied to her about. Judges chapter 16, verses 6 through 12. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies, and with what you may be bound to afflict you. And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room. And she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstrings as a strand of yarn breaks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, Look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now please tell me what you may be bound with. So he said to her, If they bind me securely with new ropes that have never been used, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Therefore Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. And men were lying in wait, staying in the room. But he broke them off his arms like a thread. This happened for a third time also, and her attempt failed once again. In Delilah's last-ditch effort, she manipulated Samson by saying, how can you say, I love you, when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. And because Samson was stuck in lust or love or emotion or whatever it was, he finally told her the truth after she had betrayed him three times already. He said, no razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Now I want to highlight how evil Delilah was, and how she only had love for one thing, 
and that was money. Delilah called the lords of the Philistines to come to her with her money in their hands. And the Bible says in verse 19, Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Her pretended love for Samson for the sake of money is deeply troubling. But this is the exact same world we live in today. It is full of people like this. Don't be naive. Not everyone that smiles at you is wishing you well. Not everyone who comes into your life has good intentions. Not every beautiful face has a beautiful soul. Don't be naive. Judges chapter 16 verses 21 through 22. Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. They bound him with bronze fetters and he became a grinder in the prison. However, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaven. Even strong men have weaknesses. Even strong men have struggles. David was a great man, but he had a problem with women. Wise King Solomon is known as the wisest king in the Bible, but he had weaknesses. Job, who is described as an upright and blameless man, had a weakness with his eyes, so much so that he had to make a covenant with his eyes. Samson operated on his emotions. Samson operated in his emotions and decided to ignore all the glaring red flags. This woman attempted to subdue him on three separate occasions and failed because Samson had lied to her. Samson knew for a fact this woman was out to get him. Samson knew that this woman could not be trusted, hence why he lied to her on three separate occasions. And in the world we live in today, there are still women like Delilah who are self-seeking and self-absorbed, who will do whatever it takes to get their agendas forward, who will quite literally stab you in the back. There are so many men's lives who have been ruined because of a Delilah. This is the harsh reality of the world. There are indeed some God-fearing, wonderful women in this world. Look hard enough and you will find them. However, there are also women exactly like Delilah in this same world. And in your life, you need to make sure that unlike Samson, you do not let lust and emotion cloud your judgment. As a man or woman, if you want to make a bad decision, make a bad decision based on your emotions and feelings or lust. And today, we're going to learn a lesson against two things. And those two things are emotions and lust. One, emotions. We all have emotions and emotions are not evil. Having emotions is not a weakness. However, nowhere in the Bible are we encouraged to listen to our emotions. Nowhere in the Bible are we instructed to follow our emotions. You cannot be dictated by your feelings. But this is exactly what Delilah told Samson to do. She said, how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? Delilah was cunning woman and she appealed to his emotions she did not appeal to his mind, because if she did, his mind would have told him, don't trust this woman, look at her track record of deceit. But Delilah tugged on his emotions. As a man or a woman, you cannot make decisions based on your feelings. If you want to ruin your life, make a decision based on your feelings. Samson was a great man, but his feelings blinded him of the hardcore facts that he was dealing with an evil woman. And there are people who are listening to me right now who just like Samson have been called to do amazing things, but they have a weakness in their life. And if we are going to be 100% honest with one another, I can say I have done and made some bad decisions in my life because of emotions. Rather than making a decision based on my knowledge of the word of God, I made a decision based on my feelings. We all have. You will not find a single verse in this Bible where God encourages you to follow your feelings or where God communicates to a person through his or her feelings. Feelings can be deceptive. Feelings change. And if we are truly going to be honest, feelings are confusing. Look at how many people in the world who loved one another a decade ago, and fast forward 10 years later, they hate one another. Feelings change. Don't be ruled by your feelings like Samson. Be interested in the person's character. If Samson was interested in Delilah's character, he would have known that, yes, I am really into this girl. Yes, she is the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. 
but she is an evil woman who loves money more than anything else. 2. Lust Lust will make a strong man weak. Isn't that some truth? Lust will make a strong man weak. Lust will make a strong woman weak. Lust will cloud your judgment. Lust will destroy you. Lust will break up your home. Lust will destroy your health. Lust will take your money away. Lust will rob you of your joy. Lust will throw you into a hole deeper than you ever thought you could go. Lust will put a wall between you and God. One more time. Lust will put a wall between you and God. Judges chapter 16 verse 20. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Lust will put a wall between you and God. The last phrase on the verse, but he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. As a man or woman, you need to know there are some things in your life you cannot get involved in that can put a wall between you and God. Fatal attraction basically goes beyond normal attraction for someone. It gets to the point where a person may become morbidly infatuated with their love interest to the point where it can get unhealthy and dangerous. Lust unchecked will leave you in a place where you will wonder, how did I get here? This is the place that Samson was. I say all this because I have seen it firsthand with my own eyes. I have seen lust do this to people. One decision made of lust can literally, literally change your whole life. Don't make decisions based on your emotions. Don't make decisions based on lust.